Hi guys, Matthew here. Today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to achieve this test or timer effect using Final Cut Pro 10. And the good news is you don't need any plugins. Everything you need is right inside Final Cut Pro 10. Let's go. You have your video on your timeline. We'll pick somewhere she was smiling. She's cute, right? Yeah, just kidding. Anyway, let's go straight to it. You go to your titles and the titles, you drag basic title on your timeline command b to cut delete this side we don't need that now go to your test inspector change it to 12 zero, zero. and then we change the font style make it bold i like this font a lot the size let's make somewhere 120 and drag it to somewhere here will be cool with it now make a duplicate of the test by pressing alt and dragging upwards click on the top one go to your test inspector side change it to pm since it was afternoon make it curves now we we'll drag that to this side now scroll down to face under face you click show then we we'll change the color of the test i think sign will be cool for this close that so we already have the 12 pm showing on the screen so now the effect or the trick is to make it pop out from the screen and if you really enjoying it so far we really appreciate it if you subscribe and like this video it really keeps this channel going and i really appreciate that anyway let's go straight back to it so we have something like this let's work on this down one click on that go to your video inspector under video inspector go to transform then we'll work on position make a keyframe from the first frame go 15 frames forward make another keyframe under position now go back to the first keyframe then under y axis we'll just drag it down here yeah, will be okay so let's make it minus 200 to get exactly what we are doing so as you can see it goes from down and then it appears but we still need to find a way to make it disappear from the screen and appear on the screen that's the trick i'll be showing you guys soon now you click on the down one press command c to make a copy of it click on the top one shift command v to bring the video attribute out if you've not seen that video i have it already i'll drop it on the card up there you can check it out how to copy an effect from one video to another video so with this we just need the position so we just click on that and then you make sure you click on the keyframe timer and then you will maintain it because with this we just want the keyframes to be maintained exactly to the next one we are copying the effect to we click on that we click on paste so now as you can see both of them will come upwards now go back to the first keyframe then go 15 frames forward so you drag the PM title to the 15 frames where the other one appears already on the screen. So now you have something like this. Make a duplicate of the video two times. So you have one, two, three. Let me drag this up so we know exactly. Disable the down video, the main one. Disable the second one too. Drag that on top of 12 o'clock. Let's pull this here because we don't need all of that then click on that video go to your effect section side under effects go to mask drag shape mask on top of that video under shape mask you go to curvature you drag that to zero then under feather we make that zero too now we drag it towards this side let's take this one to the first frame so we drag this we'll cover it exactly on top because later on it will appear from the screen, you will see what I mean by that. Now you can bring the down video out and this is what you'll get from this. So you, since it's the same video that we're working on, it looks like it's covered over there because we maxed that from the second video. So it comes from that and shows on the screen. That's a small trick for you guys. So we'll do the same with the PM. we we'll work on this video. We'll drag that on top let's enable that and with the pm we'll drag it to exactly where it starts let's cut this off delete that click on this so we'll do the exact thing we did with the first one we'll drag shape mask on top of that video now let's disable the down one so we know exactly what we're doing disable this one to click on this and work on that one so coverage will take it to zero Further, we make it zero, then we'll make it really small to cover the PM. Yeah, somewhere here is okay. Drag it now. Let's enable the down video and enable this one too. 
So now we have something like this, very easy and simple to achieve. If you really learned something from this today, don't forget to subscribe and also like this video. It really keeps this channel going and it really supports this channel. As always, stay safe. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I have another video for you guys down here. You can check that out. That will also help you a lot. As always, stay safe. Be yourself. Love you guys. Peace out.